What's up, Marlu? Man, I just want to show you some of the stuff. Let me rewind Pokemon a little bit here. All right. Here's my hands. I'm going to show you what the VR support's looking like in Eric Arcade. It's looking great, man. I'm going to, I got exactly 90 frames per second OVR mode, even when I'm watching videos. Now, this is regular um, spectator cam mode, right? So there's the regular VR ready to render the headset swap chain as per instructed. Um, but I also have something over here. Let me enable it, which is a, um, a spectator camera. So let me turn this on. All right, so now you see me over here. I'll grab you and put you over here. Now you see me as a spectator camera, and I could actually move you around just like Rick and Morty. Uh, on my screen, I see like a little tablet that shows me. I see myself waving at myself, um, and that way I can have these spectator cams going like this, right? Uh, there's another thing too. Uh, I have this spectator cam here, but if I have another spectator cam over there, let me set this up real quick. The, oh, that's the wrong thing. See, I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, let me try again. It's going to be like this. That's not it. There it is. Perfect. All right. Now, um, I got two spectator cams going. So check out what's going to happen when I walk down there. Come on, come on, come on. Work. Oh, it didn't work. One second. One second. Here. Let me bring you with me <laughs> until I get this working. A little bit of a delay. This thing. And look at it. There we go. There we go. Uh, now, this is what I want to show you. It, it, it automatically clips to the closest spectator cam. So if I go over here, then it's going to clip to this one. As I walk around, so when the user sets up multiple spectator cameras, it clips around. Uh, the other thing is, uh, it doesn't lag, right? So I can play all these games like normal. Let me turn the sound on, on this. Working through Pokemon Yellow Edition here. Uh, another thing, let me show you these uh, uh, menus, right? So here's the main menu. Everything that used to be full screen now shows up on your hand, like this. Um, even the, the uh, let's see here, there's like the commands menu. Oh, the library browser, that's an impressive one. We got the new library browser here, which now, it's, it's loading up, there we go. It now has um, thumbnails for models and all kinds of good stuff. And you could even adjust the scale of thumbnails. So they're huge. It takes a second to load them in because I have a whole bunch of favorites on this list. I'm more than I should, but there's a bunch of stuff there. Um, also, well, so that's all the menus, right? And that's it. I just want to show what the VR support is, and it's looking ballin', man. I got OVR working perfectly, flawlessly. Oh, also, I could pick things up like this and throw them around. Uh, so check this out. I can pick things up and uh, move them around freely and then let go of them to snap them back, right? So I could freely just pick things up and look at them as, as I see uh, fit and then throw them there without having to worry about messing up the arcade. But I can also position things with my hand like this. See, now I'm not holding anymore. I can hold other things, but that's permanently positioned there. But um, in, in addition to things just being held in my hand, I can uh, go in and out. And can you see what's going on there? And position it over there. And also I can rotate things, as you can see, the, this uh, cabinet spinning on my, my thumb there now. All that good stuff. And I mean, some of the Anarchy Arcade features that I want to show you are off the hook. Like when I created this whole little hallway here, I was literally pulling movies off of the moviedb.org. But that is neither here nor there. Right now I'm trying to show you VR features. And that is where we are at right now. VR man is working great. I got a couple problems that I detailed to you, but besides that, everything's looking good. Thank you very much, you guys and the whole HRVR team. All right.